Hello everyone, today I would like to inform you that AWS Swap customers can now use up to 5000 WebACL capacity units WCU per WebACL. WAF uses WCU to calculate and control the operating resources that are required to run WAF rules, rule groups, and web ACLs. Previously, WAF permitted a maximum of 1500 WCU per web ACL. Customers who needed more than 1500 WCU for their web ACLs needed to request manual limit increases. As WAF has launched new features and improved core product capabilities over the past few years, customers have asked us to increase the WCU limit so that it is easier for them to use these new features without worrying about running out of capacity. Now, customers can use up to 5000 WCU in their web ACLs without the need to request a limit increase. Web ACLs that use more than 1500 WCUs we incur an additional charge per million request. Process for each 500 WCU the web ACL uses beyond the default allocation of 1500. In addition, you will be charged $0.30 per million request for each additional 16 kilobyte analyzed beyond the default body inspection limit. From the AWS console, click on WAF and Shield. Choose Web ACLs in the navigation pane and then click on Create Web ACL. For name, enter the name you want to use to identify this Web ACL. Note, you cannot change the name after you create the Web ACL. For description, enter a longer description for the web ACL if you want to. For CloudWatch metric name, change the default name if applicable. Under resource type, choose the category of AWS resource that you want to associate with this web ACL. Either Amazon CloudFront distributions or regional resources. Choose Amazon CloudFront distributions. Enter the name once again. Click on the Cloud Watch metric name text box, the name will auto-populate. If you want to specify a different body inspection size limit, select the limit. Inspecting body sizes over the CloudFront default of 16 kilobytes can incur additional cost. Leave as default for this purpose. Choose next. If you want to add manage rule groups, on the add rules and rule groups page, choose add rules. And then choose add manage rule groups. On the Add Manage Rule Groups page, expand the list for AWS Manage Rule Groups or for the AWS Marketplace seller of your choice. For the rule group that you want to add, in the Action column, turn on the Add to Web ACL toggle.
choose add rows to finish adding manage rows and return to the add rows and row groups page. Choose the default action for the web base here, either block or, or allow. This is the action that AWS WAF takes on a request when the rules in the web base here don't es explicitly allow or block it. Choose next. Choose next. In the configure metrics page, review the options and apply any updates that you may need. Choose next. In the review and create web ACL page, check over your definitions. If you want to change any area, Choose edit for that area. Click create web ACL. Your new web ACL is listed in the web ACL page. And that's it. The new WCU limit has been applied automatically to all web ACLs. The increased WCU quota applies to all AWS regions where AWS WAF is available and for each supported service, including Amazon CloudFront, Amazon Application Load Balancer, Amazon API Gateway, AWS AppSync, and Amazon Cognito. For more information about the service, visit the AWS WAF documentation and pricing page.